2K Sports pregame show. Obviously, we've seen the value of the three-pointer increase over the years. Every team looking to stretch the floor farther and farther to maximize spacing. The best of the best go at it tonight. And at this point, Shaq, there are so many great shooters in this league, it's hard to leave certain guys out of this event. Yeah, a few of the selections may have been close calls, but we all know who the favorites are. Well, you know what? There are a few guys here that are in the top tier, so it should be another showdown for the ages. And now time for tip-off. Let's send it to Kevin Harlan with the call. Nothing like it, folks. The All-Star festivities in the air. Kevin Harlan here with partners Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Next up is the three-point contest for tonight. One NBA sharpshooter will add his name to a trophy that contains a who's who of the best long-range bombers in league history. This is all about concentration, guys. You get on the roll, lock into that rhythm. That's what you try to do here. Absolutely, and the crowd is completely behind you, unlike when you play a game and, and sometimes they're with or against. And watching on TV, such a different environment than a game. This is really a fun event for everyone. And so we'll see Stephen Curry. Five racks with the last rack composed of all money balls. Those are worth two points instead of just one. All in all, a max possible score of 34. And 60 seconds to take all 25 shots. Not a ton of time. As soon as one shot is out of your hands, you have to be ready to get off the next. I'll tell you one thing. If a player doesn't get into a rhythm and start stringing shots together, it's over quickly. And we talk about that a lot, but that's because it is so important. With 25 shots to get off in 60 seconds, there's just no time to ease into it. Now with 11. He's got 12, not just 13. Steph catching fire now. He's in the zone. And now with 16, 17 on the board. Now he gets the money wrap. Makes it to 19. 21. 23. And he posts a total of 25 for the round. What, what an unbelievable round. Right away you could tell it was, it was going to be special. Right from the opening rack, he was on the roll. Got himself immediately into a groove. So it'll be Brad Beal here. And Brad Beal, renowned in high school for his outside shooting, he was just solid. Not, not really great at Florida, but you figured he'd come around. Fellas, 25 shots in 60 seconds, that's a lot. One of the hard things, I'm sure, is staying focused all the way through that 25th shot. It, it absolutely is. And with the end in sight, players can suffer a letdown and, and not close out the round as strong as they should. He misses his fourth straight. Gets the money ball. He's up to seven. Now eight points. Money ball, no good. Nine points. He's got ten. Young fella Brad Beal taking charge here. Down to the money round. Good for 13. And he's got 15 points when the round ends. He turned in a pretty good round right there, don't you think? And he managed to hit four money balls. Not terrible, but, but could have been better. And here we go with Paul George. One way to ensure success in this event is by hitting those money balls. Those give you a nice jolt of momentum. Yeah, that's a great point. There have been some famous moments when a player without the best shooting percentage comes out on top solely because they're able to drain the money ball. Now with four. Can't get the money ball. He's got five, six, seven points. Near 
nearly perfect there. Just one miss on the rack. He's got 10. Three of four on money balls. Make that 14. And now he's in second place all by himself. He tallies 18 points. He was really enjoying himself out there that time, guys. Money balls so critical to knock down in this competition, and he gets six out of nine. And so it's D'Angelo Russell ready to go. You know, in the three-point contest, these guys are really on an island out there. I mean, you're used to sharing the court with nine other guys. Four of them are your teammates, and now it's just you out there. It has a little bit of a golf, tennis, or track and field feel. And some guys love that, but others don't. So if you don't, you probably shouldn't be here. But I think for the most part, everyone in the lineup here tonight loves it. Three down. Now with four. Five points. No messing around now. He's going to have to be at his best the rest of the way. Six. Pressure's on. Just sink one there. Seven more points to stay in contention. Up to ten now. He's got 12, and that's his fourth straight. He finishes with 14 points on the board. And so here's Green now. You definitely want to try to get off to a good start because, guys, I'll tell you, if you whiff that first rack, it can really throw you off and keep you off. Clark, that's a great point. That, that's a blow to your confidence, and then you start pressing if you stumble out of the gate. Four points. Five points now. Honey ball, no good. with six he needs eight points more to stay in contention can't get the money ball seven points more to stay alive he's got ten three more points to stay in contention now 14 that's exactly the score he needed to get himself into third place and secure a spot in the finals. 18 points for him when all is said and done. His stroke looked terrific in that round, guys. And he knocked down five out of the nine money balls. Pretty good. Here we go with Damian Lillard. It can be a big advantage going last. He knows the score he needs to beat in order to qualify. To advance, he's going to need at least 18 points. Going to take some major sharpshooting to come close to beating that, fellas. Three down. There you go. And he buries his fifth in a row. This is a respectable start. Seven points. Now eight points. He needs eight more points to advance. Eleven points. Six more and he advances. Now he gets the money wrap. Bringing some very nice shooting together here. Two more points to stick around. And with that, he reaches the second place score. He racks up 20 points in the round. Guys, hard to find any fault with that display. Yeah, Kevin, I'd say it was pretty as a picture or a beautiful postcard. Really wonderful concentration from the first ball all the way to the last one. And he approached every shot the same. His pace was nice and never got ahead of himself. Curry's got to be the favorite going into the finals. Don't you think, guys? Performances all around have been off the charts. This has been a true shootout. Absolutely. I mean, we've got a great three-point contest on our hands this year, guys. And here we go with Paul George. He's got 30 seconds here to put up as many points as he can. Four points. Five points now. Six. Solid start. He's up to seven. Eight points is all he ends up with there. And here we go with Gerald Green. 
Pressure's on. He's got 30 seconds. He knows the number to beat. Let's go. Yeah, doesn't need to do much here to get past that mark. That's two. Now with four. Money ball, no good. Five points now. Drains the money ball. Eight points. Eight points is all he ends up with there. And so we'll see Paul George. A shot clock is at 30 seconds. He better be ready to put up some points fast. Two points. Now with four. Can't get the money ball. He's got five. Six. He's up to seven. Money ball, no good. Now eight points. Nine points is what he finishes with. And so here's Green now. He knows what he has to do, and he's got 30 seconds to do it. The door wide open right now. Makes his first there. Two points. Can't get the money ball. Not fun. Now with four. Now with six. Pretty good start. Nine points. Nine points is what he finishes with. Here we go with Paul George. He's got 30 seconds here to put up as many points as he can. One point. Gets the money ball. He's got five. Seven points. Trains the money ball. Nine points is what he finishes with. So it'll be Gerald Green here. 30 seconds back on the clock. Can he do better? Yeah, that score can't have him too worried. I'm guessing he'll top that without much of a problem. Makes his first there. Two points. Four points. Six. He comes away with four points on that wrap. Nine points. Nine points is what he finishes with. And so we'll see Paul George. A shot clock is at 30 seconds. He better be ready to put up some points fast. That's two. Four points. Money ball, no good. Oh, my. He's got five. Now with six. Good rack right there. Four points total. That's four in a row now. He's sitting at just nine points as the round comes to a close. So it'll be Gerald Green here. 
Pressure's on. He's got 30 seconds. He knows the number to beat. Let's go. Even a poor showing here might be enough. He's in great shape. That's two. He could have taken more from that rack. Only got two points. Now three points. Now with four. Five points now. Can't get the money ball. Six. He puts his six points on the board. So it's Paul George ready to go. By going first, he can put a lot of the pressure on the guys behind him if he posts a good score. And I know he's going out there with the mindset of just relax, have fun, and see what happens. Yeah, and I think that's a good way to approach it. The shootout is all about fun. And for the players, for the fans, no reason to put undue pressure on yourself. Well, he, he handled that rack well. Seven points. Decent start here. 11 points. Oh, come on. Off the mark with five in a row now. He's got 12. Good for 13. He's four for four on money ball. At 16. Make it 17. Pushes it to 18. Very strong 20 points for him. Now that's how you do it. Outstanding focus throughout the round. Yeah, he didn't waste any time getting things started. He rifled through that first rack perfectly. Didn't miss one ball. Here we go with Damian Lillard. 20 points, the score to beat. He can take the lead with 21. One point. Tough rack right there. Two points. Now three points. Gets the money ball. Now with six. He can only afford two more misses. That's seven. He's got eight. He better keep it steady here. I mean, he can't miss more than two shots the rest of the way. Uh, well, I think, yeah, yeah, that's it. He's done. Yep, he can't make it up in these last few shots, Kevin. Yeah, thanks for playing. We'll, we'll see you next year. The round ends, and he's got 19. And so we'll see Stephen Curry. And if you look at the numbers through the first part of his career, there is no doubt in my mind Steph Curry will end up being the greatest shooter in the history of this game. Just amazing to watch him shoot. Somehow he made it through to the final, shooting a score in the first round that usually isn't going to get you close to qualifying. And he has some of the other guys to thank for that. I mean, it was an ugly round for a few players. Maybe this round will be a different story for him. He got three points off that rack. Not bad. He's up to seven. Eight points. Yeah! He's got that nice rhythm going right here. Eight more points for him to tie it up. Seven straight. He's stringing them together. That's it. Seven points away from the win. Up to 15 now. He's made all but one of his money balls. Two more to win. Good, and the rest is academic. We have a winner. Great shooting. Take it on home. Yeah, nice work out there. And a score of 27 points for the round. Wow, that was something else, guys. We don't see too many performances like that. He racked up the points on his bunny balls, only missed one. And that wraps up this year's thrilling three-point contest. It was an absolute clinic in three-point shooting from this year's champion, Steph Curry. What a commando performance by our champion. Once he got rolling, the only question was, 
who's getting second. Yeah, I mean, he, he deserves all the credit in the world for that one. I mean, to come out on top against a feel like this, sensation. And the drama, the excitement. This year's three-point contest had it all. It was our pleasure to bring it to you. Every shot, terrific to watch. Now, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long for Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Thank you and good night.